It really surprises me that we're willing to pay $1,000 plus for a smartphone, but never once do we actually think about using them for more than just being a smartphone. These are powerful mini computers that are sitting in our pocket with the right accessory can actually do so much more. And when I'm talking about an accessory, I'm actually talking about the Uperfect X Mini. This is a mini laptop that enables us to actually utilize the built-in desktop modes to the smartphones that I just showed you to be able to not only charge the phone while using it, but also use it like a laptop. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified to whenever we have new videos on the channel. So what I have in front of us is the Uperfect X Mini. This is a new edition that was just released. It's an 11.6 inch or 11.5 inch display. It's a small form factor made out of ABS plastic. So lightweight, very easy to use, and of course features a touch display. And this is a full HD touch display. It's an IPS panel that's present right there. And of course we're able to actually bend it all the way to make it into a tablet mode or even tent mode in case we want to be able to tilt it and put it on the table and watch some content on it. It really works very nicely. And as you can see right there, two hinges. We have an indicator for battery, for power, as well as one of the microphones, uh, or actually the microphone on the actual unit itself. We have a shortcut key that's present here at the top, enabled by the function key, as well as the dual functionality. So function plus power, all of that. Space bar, nice and travel keyboard that's present there. And of course, we also have a trackpad that's present on the bottom. Now, one of the things that makes this very, very unique is the fact that this augments the ability of having something that we lost on our smartphones. That's the ability of using a micro SD card to expand storage on our devices. On top of the fact that we don't also have a USB-A port, this is actually one of the two that we have on here. And of course, last but not least, is a headphone jack. This is something that is very unique, and of course, something that we lost quite a bit ago on most of our smartphones. When it comes down to sound, since we saw that that microphone was present on the front, uh, we actually have two one watt speakers built into the bottom, closer to the track at the front. Um, of course, you're able to open it up if you'd like to, but for the most part, that's pretty much everything that we have here. And when we switch it over to the left side, we have the DC port port in. Now this is going to be supported with the charger that's included in the box. It is a barrel charger so you do need to bring that with you when you're traveling since it does not work over USB-C. The secondary USB-A port that I talked about, HDMI in and of course H, uh, well, USB-C in. This is going to be able to allow us to use our devices with USB-C connection to be able to plug in and utilize that desktop mode that we're talking about. Now as far as powering it off, the power button is present here on the right side next to the SD card so you just press and hold it for about two seconds and then the display will turn on and it'll say waiting for connection. So you'll see right there, let's let it focus. So you perfect, youperfect.com, that's their website. And it's pretty much just gonna say right there at the top, waiting for connection. And at this point, all you have to do is plug in your phone. Now, one thing I will say, they do include a few cables in the box. This is a USB-C to C cable. This is a USB-A to C cable. This is a US an HDMI mail to mail cable. And of course, last but not least, an additional USB-C to C cable. This is, again, giving us an opportunity in case you damage one of them. Go ahead, plug in the USB-C cable on the left side. Make sure that it's fit, bright and snug. And of course, on your favorite smartphone that supports desktop experience, go ahead and plug it in. And then by definition, you'll notice automatically it starts charging and the device will jump into desktop mode. And of course, as you can imagine, this is DeX. Everything in here is pretty much the way we've seen it before. It's a touch, touch sensitive IPS panel. It's a 1080p uh, touch uh, resolution. We're able to use the function key on the keyboard to be able to access some of those options that we have in here. So if I hear and hit the power, it'll tell us that the battery on here is 81% full. It does support a 10,800 milliamp hour battery, which means this should be more than enough, not only to be able to keep your phone fully charged, but then once this dies, let's say you run out of juice entirely out of the laptop, you're actually gonna be able to leave your phone at 100%. So as we're using it right now, it's gonna run and charge the device. You have access to all of the applications that you have installed on your device. Dex allows us to actually run quite nicely and of course opens or supports a pop-up window mode and so on. So if we want to actually, we also be able to use it as a camera. So let's go ahead and open up the camera application. And you can see right there now it's present, it's showing the camera right there on the left side. I'm also able to switch the camera if I want to be able to use the back camera. As, it, as you can expect, it runs normally. And if you want to be able to use it as a webcam, it runs pretty much the same. Of course, being able to actually open it up as full window. Let's go ahead and click it here. And then we can actually use our finger to swipe. This is obviously me trying to work uh, in making the thumbnail that we had this uh, on the actual cover for this video. Um, otherwise, you can actually also access multiple sources. And this is what I was trying to tell you guys at the beginning, that we have not only a micro SD card that's present on the right side, but the USB-A ports on the side enable us to run accessories now that we don't usually have with some of the laptops on the market. Namely, two USB-A accessories. So this one is the mouse keyboard or mouse adapter option. I'll go ahead and plug it in on the right side. 
And this will enable us to have a mouse configuration or mouse support on the actual PC here. So essentially the PC experience. I'm able to basically right click, left click, wallpaper, use the normal functionality of a mouse. It's connected directly. Since this is not a PC, there is no Bluetooth connectivity. There's no wireless connectivity. Anything and everything that works with it needs to be either connected to it or plugged into it. So what I mean by this is uh, like this little connection option that we have here will enable me to use this as well as actually other Logitech adapter options on the market on the, uh, right now. And of course, since we have another USB-A option, I'm able to use an external hard drive, something like this. This is a Western Digital. It's a one terabyte SSD that's going to give us the ability of having fast storage connectivity on top of the fact that we can also use a micro SD card. So this is not the only option, but in case you want to be able to transfer large files from your phone to, let's say, directly into an SSD, this is going to basically circumvent having to get a, have an entire PC with you. All you have to do is plug this in directly into the other USB-A port. And what this, this gives us the ability of basically is not only do we now have a mouse, but we also have external storage and a micro SD and a headphone jack. So many more accessories that we typically don't get into that one port into our smartphone. So the USB one is, this is gonna be our micro SD card that's present here. I can click on it, open it up, scroll through the ports. I can actually transfer content from my file since my file explorer that I have here enables me to transfer between multiple systems. So here on the right side, I have the external, uh, basically the SSD that I have in here, the Western Digital. On the left, I have the micro SD card all running through the metro through the system in here and directly transferring content from one to the other circumventing it but if let's say i want to be able to transfer content directly from my phone i can go ahead and jump in here this is my internal phone system and i'm able to just basically transfer stuff directly over the system very functional very powerful i still have full touch configuration and one of the other things that I really like about it is when we open up applications like this is the ability of actually using the Windows function key. So we can actually use uh, some of the shortcuts that we have built in into obviously Dex. This is something that we've had before. If I do three fingers gesture up, I'm able to open up the Recents app. This is something that's very nice. And of course, I'm also able to basically open up the Recents app here by just going straight into the button here. And that also opens up the same configuration that we've seen before. If you did not open them up directly in the desktop experience, it will restart the application. If we go ahead and interact with Instagram. It did actually relaunch Instagram for me. It did not just automatically open it up. Now, again, scrolling through, everything works the exact same way we want it. One thing I will say, Instagram does not resize entirely similarly. So if you go full screen, it is just a stretched version of your phone. And of course, everything else runs this way. Let's say I want to be able to open up, uh, you know, Twitter. I'll just start typing Twitter and then I'll open it up in here. Twitter will open up on this side, let it finish loading up and I'll go ahead and bring it up to the right. And right away, I have a split screen experience all running at the same time. I'm able to use my mouse on both screens and they just run beautifully. For other devices like the OnePlus 10 Pro that does support a desktop experience, which is the standard Google or Android desktop experience, not a finished product, it does actually support right out of the box screen mirroring. Now, screen mirroring with mouse support, which also means that we also have access to touch sensitivity on this. And of course, if we tilt the phone and allow it to actually auto rotate, and what this enables us to do is actually watch content like Netflix in its landscape mode. Again, this is screen mirroring, so it's not using it through the desktop experience. It still works. You still have access to the mouse configuration. You're able to start pause the content, watch it, listen to it on here. I did turn off the audio because I didn't want it to get any copyright issues. Uh, but overall, everything kind of like that you do on your phone runs the exact same way. So either be it a OnePlus device, a Samsung device, this is obviously the S22 Ultra. It works perfectly on it. Now this one's still running uh, One UI 4.0 and what we have here on the Z Fold 4 is One UI 4.1. Of course, One UI 5.0 is not going to be an issue. Now, one thing I will probably say is once you launch it for the first time, it will ask you to what do you want to do if you have more than one file manager. For me, I like to use here File uh, Explorer, and this gives me the ability of opening it up. I can open up the experience here, and you'll notice I have both the USB drive as well as my internal drive, as I don't have the actual drive, uh, the hard drive connected at this point. And as soon as I plug it in, I'll give it a second, and it should be able to load up here. It'll give me the same configuration. I'll click it. I'll say always. And at that point, I'll be able to configure it and use it using the same system in here and be able to open it up and access the files in here. Again, transferring files between one system to the other is not going to be a problem. And you can also use your fingers, you can use your mouse, it, use it in the entire experience. And when you're done, when you're done closing this entire experience and you're plugging out your phone, you have a fully charged battery on your phone because you leveraged the, the 10,000 milliampere battery that you had in the phone, well, in the actual laptop itself to charge up your accessories. As far as compatibility and what you're getting here is you're getting a small form factor laptop. 
And what I mean is there's no processor, there's no GPU. Everything that you're doing is literally running off your phone. You're using your processor, your own, uh, obviously, GPU, uh, RAM, everything that you normally would run on the phone, except now you're using a bigger interface. And the benefit of here is two things. A, you don't have to keep holding your phone while you're using it. B, you're charging it while you're using it. And you're using it from more than you typically would have used it. Meaning, if you were thinking about buying, let's say, a Chromebook or a Chrome OS laptop to take with you when you're traveling because you want to leverage some more functionality and you want that bigger canvas to work with, something like the Uperfect Mini X definitely fits that bill as long as your device supports a desktop experience. Now, if it doesn't support a desktop experience, but it does support screen mirroring, like what we saw here with the OnePlus 10 Pro, this is definitely going to be something very simple and very easy. Uh, opening up applications that typically run in landscape will automatically format themselves. You're able to configure the, diff uh, the different options on the actual laptop from audio, uh, as well as basically, you know, brightness and so on. The one thing I will say, this is not going to be the loudest speakers on the market. I would recommend you using the headphone jack in here. And this is why I kind of titled my video at the beginning. It wasn't really try to clickbait it, but it was at the end of the day, something that we lost for quite some time. The ability of using a micro SD card, as well as using a headphone jack with our device while we're using it. This is the way to do it because not only do I have the ability of, let's say I fill up the storage, I have the 128 or something like that. When I connect it here and I'm working, I'm able to leverage moving all of my content directly from my phone to the SD card, keep them backed up on my SD card. And if I ever need them at any time I'm plugged in directly into the laptop, I have access to that SD card internally on the phone. I can email from it, I can attach from it. I'll use it as if it's internal storage and that's the benefit. Removing the SD card and removing the headphone jack didn't mean that the system doesn't support it. It just meant that we don't have the hardware to functionally make that work. This is why we use external USB-C DACs or we use external, uh, let's say USB drives with USB. SBC. This circumvents this entire thing, charges up our device and enables us to be on the go without having to buy an extra piece of hardware that essentially it's its own computer. This is literally everything is running on your phone, your 3G, your 4G, your 5G connectivity, your Wi-Fi connectivity, all of that leverages and you're not sharing data because technically you're working on the phone. So I will say thank you very much to you, Perfect, for sending me the Mini X. Uh, again, works perfectly with Samsung devices on One UI. I think was it two, three, even four. Uh, there's no question that this is going to work out of the box. You just plug it in and you're ready to go. What I will say though is keep in mind with Magic UI or EMUI, those are basically Huawei and Honor's uh, desktop experiences. Although I'm able to actually leverage them, the only interface we're able to use is the touchpad on the actual phone. So this is something you want to keep in mind. You're able to use uh, these type of devices. They use something called wireless projection or wired projection, but it does require to use the touchpad on the phone, which essentially is your phone becomes the touchpad and this becomes an external display. You're able to leverage obviously using anything that has HDMI out, let's say your laptop, your camera that we're talking about right here. And of course, this could be a really nice monitor on the go. So very nice flexibility, gives you a lot of different options. You wanna connect the Raspberry Pi to this, go at it, have fun. Uh, you wanna run a second monitor to your existing laptop without having to buy an entire separate thing. This will do the thing for you because again, it has all the ports and all the functionalities. At the end of the day, what I will say is if there are some things that I'm a little bit concerned on, and my buddy had, had the same kind of impression, is that the charger for this is not uh, an easy to use pro uh, charger, meaning you don't necessarily have the ability of replacing it with another USB-C charging uh, cable. You do need to use the barrel charger that they include in the box. And that means you do need to make sure to remember to bring the charger with you because once the battery dies, that's the only way to charge it. But this should take you a really long time. If your phone is fully charged, it'll keep your phone running. And of course, at the end, you unplug, you're ready to go, and you're running with a full battery. There's really not much to kind of uh, go against here. So I like the format. Uh, it's running for about $299 right now on their website. So something to keep in mind, and they have a coupon in there. I'll give you guys some uh, information about that as well to be able to save yourself some, uh, some money on that one as well. So if you have a phone that supports a desktop experience and you don't have an accessory like this, you are absolutely missing out and you should not be buying any low budget laptop to take with you just to do extra work when your phone can do so much more than you probably have been using it for some time. Thank you very much for the support. Like and subscribe as usual. I'll see you in the next video.